Welcome back everyone. I'm Robin from This Blog's Neat and if you've watched my last two videos, you'll know that I am tasting through four different unaged rums. If you're one of my Patreons, you have my tasting notes already for all four of these rums. I'm doing it in one sitting, but I am releasing the videos, um, individual videos for each rum. And what we're tasting, actually wait, because I mentioned my Patreons, I do want to say a big thank you to my Patreons. I really, really appreciate your support. And if you, the viewer, would also like to support the channel, you can join us over on Patreon and I'd be very grateful. Um, but otherwise, just, yeah, subscribe, leave me comments, watch more of my videos. And what we're trying today which you already know because you clicked on the icon, the video icon, is a bottle from Holmes Key, which when I read it, I wanna say Holmes K, but Holmes Key, this is from Savannah Distillery. This is the Reunion Island Grand Arome Rum. It is sitting at 57.5% ABV, and I grabbed this for like 50 bucks. So Holmes Key bottles a lot of really cool rums. Yeah, this is edition number three. I'm guessing there's at least three editions of this rum. But Savannah Distillery is on the island of Reunion, which is an island that's east of Madagascar. This distillery started in 1870, and most of what they produced- 1870? Or, or all of what they produced back then was exported as bulk rum. And in 2003, they started actually bottling their own, this isn't bottled by them, this is Holmes Key, but they actually started bottling some of their own rums, but still most of it is exported. I think I read that 80% of their production is exported as bulk to France and the EU. They do make rums that are from fresh pressed cane juice, molasses, which is what we're gonna try today, molasses with uh, shorter fermentations or molasses with longer fermentations to create a lot more flavors. Um, and they also make rums where they blend molasses and sugar cane juice, which I think is cool. This is also made with dunder. <laughs> If you've watched my channel before, you've heard me say Dunder, and I have numerous videos about Dunder. It's essentially the stillage that's left over in the still after distillation. So that liquid that's left in the still after you've removed the ethanol from it. This is fermented for 10 days. I don't know if it's spontaneous fermentation or not. It might be. Um, and then it's distilled using their Saval Copper Column still, which has been there for quite some time. So Grand Arome, Grand Arome Rums, Grand Arome Rums. The Grand Arome Rum style is a funky molasses based rum rather than a sugarcane juice based rum. So that's kind of why it's a Grand Arome and Grand Arome also translates to something like lots of flavors. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just like the high ester rums, when it's exported, it's usually blended with cleaner rums to create this nice, like, flavorful rum that isn't as flavorful as the Grand Rum itself. But we're, of course, trying the Grand Rum. How many times can I say Grand Rum? Anyways. Oh. Okay. This is so fun. Okay. If you were making a huge pot of red sauce in a nail salon, there's like also, ooh, okay. This probably won't, this note probably won't hit for a lot of people. I grew up in Florida and we have these small centipedes that like roll up into a spiral and they have this really musky smell. And that's what I'm getting. Do you want to smell? I didn't hear what you said, what did you say? You didn't hear that I said... Musky? 
nail salon centipedes. Oh, wow. And, uh... Oh, what is that? No. And red sauce. You know what I'm getting? Olives. A little bit, but, but actually, and I feel really confident about this, um, it's like a very tangy barbecue sauce. Very tangy. I could see that. I could see it, though, like, on the ribs already. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. But you don't get the centipedes? No, I do get centipedes. Musty basement centipedes, yeah. Musty basement? Musty, that's where the centipedes live. No, you have different centipedes than I do. Brooklyn, baby. You know, I see where you're getting the the tangy barbecue sauce thing, because I do get a little bit of a mesquite aspect to this. Beneath that, there's something herbal, like a, a fresh herb. And I want to say mint. I want to say it's like a fresh mint. But maybe there's also some like Thai basil in there too. Wow, this is so fun. Mm, there's also like a, yeah, there's like a vanilla thing. Wow, this has a lot of flavor. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fun. This is really, really complex. It's really fun. <laughs> so while it's in my mouth, it's just tons of juicy fruits. Just like, <sighs> yeah, it's almost like if you were to take just like a bunch of mixed dried fruits and rehydrate them and kind of blend them up and toss them in your mouth, but don't blend them up completely, but just so you're getting pops of different dried fruits, the prunes and and the figs and the raisins and the apricots, like it's all doing. And then there's like a crazy like lemongrass punch once you swallow the sip. And then here come the centipedes, but they're also accompanied by some spices like maybe some star anise and some nutmeg uh and and mm, a, a little bit of allspice in here as well i have to go in for another sip this is is a really interesting rum really really interesting mm. it's like a tea that i've just had recently I can't, a very herbal, not an herbal tea, maybe an herbal tea. There's also a little bit of like a band-aid thing on both the palate and on the nose. Uh, those fruits like toss in some, some dried pineapple, some dried apples in there as well. Wow, super interesting. I would, I would, if you love funky rums, definitely check this out. This is really wonderful in such an interesting, it's, it's so interesting. Like I could sit here for the rest of the night and then my video would, you know, my phone would run out of storage and just keep smelling and tasting it and trying to kind of identify the different things that I'm trying. This is really, really wonderful. Um, I definitely recommend it. If you've tried this rum, let me know in the comments below or if you've tried anything else from Bottled by Holmes Key or from Savannah Distillery. Let me know. And make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I have one more rum to try and you're not going to want to miss that one.